Good afternoon, everybody. From the top of Mount Greylock. And no, I did not hike up here. It's the first time I have not hiked up here. So, that was pretty cool. Like I say, today's a zero day, everybody. And uh, what a way to spend a zero day, getting these views on Greylock without having to hike. It's kind of crazy. Look, it's a zoo up here, though, everybody. There is people everywhere. That's for sure. But remember that surprise guest I was telling you about? Well, let me just show you. Let me just show you who I'm talking about. Check it out, everybody. So this little guy came all the way from Bangor to see me. That's PR. And there's Katie, everybody. She drove all the way from Bangor, Maine to come to Massachusetts to hang out, so. Super cool. What do you think of the views, Katie? It's amazing. Yeah, it is, it is pretty amazing. And I forgot my camera in the car, so we did the .5 up, .5 back down, .5 back up. So, yeah, that's what it is, everybody. Zero day from the top of Mount Greylock, baby. And I'll touch back periodically through the day. Uh, we're checked out of the hotel, but I might, I'm pretty positive we got a, another place to stay tonight, which is insane, everybody. So, yeah, it's a zoo up here. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, yeah, there's, there's people everywhere. And I'll touch back throughout the day, too, uh, because, yeah. We're just gonna hike around the top of Mount Greylock today, everybody. With no backpack on. And no miles that count, so that's perfect. And it's beautiful, so I said, why not go up here today? Because you never know, when I hike up here, I might not get these views. So, we'll get them today, baby. I'll take pictures. And, uh, and video, I guess, so. Alrighty, guys, talk to you in just a little bit. Oh, hope you guys have a great day, too. And I touch back with the cool stuff in the views, like I do on a zero day, baby. Check us out, everybody. The inside of Mount Greylock Tower, everybody. Said, look, those immortal dead who live again in the minds made better by their presence. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. There's a ton of people in here, everybody, so. I'm not gonna film going up, but I'll show you the stairway. Just a spiral staircase like this, everybody, all the way to the top. And I'm saving the top for when I come through on my southbound, so. Oops. <laughs> that door opened up fast. Look, everybody. Tons and tons and tons and tons of people up here. It is a Saturday though, so what do you expect? Look, 
Somebody's filming us. With that, you know, it's it's a co controversial oh, yeah. topic, and yeah. there's been a lot of debate and yeah. and hand wringing about it. So, it's an ongoing process, I think, as we learn more about what they do uh, to the land and to bird birds right. and bats. Yeah. I know out in California, of course, they have wind farms that are hundreds in the central uh, region, yeah. central hills. And What's happening, everybody? So this is Bascom Lodge at the top of Greylock. They're usually not open when I come here, but they're open right now. And maybe they'll be open when I come through tomorrow, too. Who knows? But while they're open right now, I'm going to take advantage of this and get me a Coca-Cola or something. All right, you guys. Lodge at the top of Mount Greylock. Booyah. Cow, everybody. Check this Coca Cola out. It's not even gold plated. So, at the Bascom Lodge, everybody, these things are like gold. $2.50 for a can of soda. And the sad part is, I asked if they're open tomorrow, so maybe I can grab another one. I don't know what I was thinking, $2.50? Maybe I should bring up like six of these on my way up tomorrow and oh, sell them for a dollar fifty. <laughs> Cut the middleman out, baby. Well, what's happening, everybody? So, look at these. Look at these porta potties. Man, they are some of the cleanest porta potties I've ever seen in my life. Pretty crazy. And yes, I'm still savoring this two dollars and fifty cent Coca Cola. At least it says Coach on it. It's a Coach Coke, baby. So, yeah, I figured to let you guys know, if you're coming up northbound on Greylock, you're gonna hit these porta potties right before you get to the summit. So, or southbound, you're gonna hit them right after. So, either hold it or take advantage of it while you're here, everybody, because they're clean and they got toilet paper in them. So, if you need toilet paper, oh, I didn't say that, but you know what I mean. What's happening, everybody? So here's that little pond with that little cabin I always talk about that I said I'd want to live in. Look, I got super close to this thing. And you can actually go inside it. Check this out. I'll show you inside. Look, there's Katie. There's PI. So and there's my expensive Coca-Cola. Check this out, everybody. The little cabin I always wanted to live in. Now that I see it, I'd have to do some work to it. It's just a <laughs> Super cool though. Oh, look how white my face is from the sun. It's crazy. Yeah, baby. Here's looking out that little window. So, let's get over there to the trail and I'll show you that side of it. What's happening, everybody? Check this out. This is the shot I always show in my videos, everybody. When I went northbound this year, it was all clouded in. Look, there's that little thing we were just in, the pump house or well house or, somebody told me it was a pump house for the well, so. Come here. Awesome. I still want to live in that thing, but I'd have to ramp it up a little. Look. The PR decided to go swimming in the mud. <laughs> Glad it's a rental car. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? End of the day recap. Day 41. Zero miles, baby. And uh, some of you guys might be wondering why I'm in the house. Well, this morning, everybody, uh, Tom Dockham 
five hour of mine came to the hotel room because, well, you guys know how I do. I show my hotel room. So I came to room three at the Caddy Mountain Hotel this morning at like, I don't know, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., somewhere in there. And asked if he could do anything for me today. I pretty much said, nah, I think Katie's got me covered. She's got a car here and everything. So uh, he said, well, if you need a place to stay tonight, my house is open for you. Uh, so I was like, cool. Yeah, let's do some running around. We'll figure it out what we're going to do. And might just hang out there. Uh, but I'll let you know. I'll give you a call. So everybody, Katie and I went up to Mount Greylock today. Drove up there, which is different. And uh, but it was beautiful up there, so <laughs> no complaints at all. So when we were done with that, we're like, man, what should we do? I was like, well, let's, let's call Tom up. Uh, so that's what we did, everybody. We are now sitting at Tom and Kathy's house. And uh, tell you what, everybody, man, these people that keep coming out to meet me are the best. I mean, it don't get any better than these people. I mean, really. So they cooked us a roast. They had some other family over today, so their daughter and their son-in-law and their grandson, they were here for dinner. Uh, yeah, they just treat us like family, everybody, and it's awesome. So thank you so much, Tom and Kathy, for putting us up in your house, offering to give me a ride back to trail, cooking us dinner, giving me resupply in your basement little stash there. Man, awesome. So I appreciate you, Tom and Kathy, for sure. Uh... Yeah, tell you what, everybody. People like Tom and Kathy, uh, Dockham, and most, er well, everybody that has came out to reach out to me. <laughs> awesome people. Some of the best people in the world, everybody. So, yeah. What we did is we ate dinner here, and then I went down to Price Chopper to get some more carnation because I think I'm getting addicted to carnation. Instant breakfast is now. Suckers and carnation. I wonder if I can do the whole trail that way. <laughs> Probably not, but I don't know what else to say, everybody. I, my mind is blown again. Um, so Katie will be heading out in the morning. Uh, I think we're going to leave here at like 5.30 a.m. Uh, Tom said he's going to cook us breakfast before we leave. So I should be at Trailhead at like 6. Back to the normal, regular trail videos, uh, which I love to do. Up and over Greylock tomorrow, everybody. So this time we're going to hike it up and over not drive up it so yeah that's what it is everybody um day 41 zero mile baby oh look since katie was here i got my braid back <laughs> it's perfect she's got twin girls so she knows how to braid hair all right so yeah oh and i think i'm gonna give uh, the farthest drive to see me award to katie Bangor to uh, Massachusetts. Pretty good drive, everybody. So, but it was awesome getting to hang out with her. And I think this is the last time I'm getting out of reach. So, yeah, that's what it is, everybody. Uh, thanks again to Tom and Kathy Diacom. Man, top notch people, everybody. Everywhere I go, top notch people. And uh, <laughs> just amazing, to be honest. So, alrighty, guys, back on the trail in the morning. Plus, not some more miles, I guess. That's what we're going to do. So, we're going to blow through Massachusetts, get into Connecticut, blow through that. And like I say, just keep checking them off the list, baby. So, yeah. Hope you guys had a great night. I doubt you can beat the night I had. So, thanks again, Tom and Kathy. And uh, as far as everybody else, hope you guys had a great night. And I will talk to you guys in the morning, baby. <laughs>